popular conception of abstraction is that you start in chaos, you loosen up, you let it all hang out. People get arrested for letting it all hang out because, you, you know, artists die of exposure, especially in this weather. But this, this, this show is a result of several years of involvement by fairly high-minded, serious people who have devoted themselves exclusively to pursuing abstraction as a creative idiom, let's say. And what I've been preaching, in a sense, is that as opposed to starting with chaos and arriving at some kind of ordering principle or order of some kind, a picture, I've been preaching that you need to start off with order. Whatever that order is, whether it's an impulse, it's, it may be informed by an image, may be informed by color, may be informed by a gesture, or a narrative for that matter. But you need to start off, I believe, with something tangible that you know, in a way that artists can know, non-verbally, without a lot of intellectual machinations, sometimes, but you know it. And then you, through discipline and focus, you evolve what it is and discover what it is you know. But if you begin with order and in some intention, you end with order. In between, you modulate the order. You develop it, you throw it around you. Just like, I would suggest, just like a jazz musician starts off with a melody, or a phrase, or a well-known, what they call standard, and then they jam, they drive with it, they turn it inside out, they change the instrumentation. You know, one night they're drunk, one night they've had a good, good time, nice dinner, other times they're anxious, doesn't matter, but you're real about it, and then you wind up sometimes with something special that you can't anticipate. So I've come to believe that this show is a good representation in a sense of the idea that art transcends who made it, when it was made, and how it was made. It exists as an object that transcends those qualities. And personally, I'm more interested in lasting impressions as opposed to first impressions. So I'm very happy for the artists who have entrusted something in me to guide them, to create a dialogue, to be audacious with some kind of high-minded poetry. And uh, this is, I think, really quite a beautiful example of that process.